The Nye City leaders are working to encourage local high school students not to participate in exhibition driving. This comes after 16 people were injured in an exhibition driving crash just last week. Our Lauren Jackson joins us with more on what the city is now doing to tackle this dangerous activity. Yeah, Catherine, out of those 16 people that were injured, we know one was a five year old, but many people there were teens and young adults and city leaders are now stressing to schools that even watching this illegal activity can be dangerous. Now, Birmingham City Councilor Clinton Woods visits schools in his district talking about different types of crime and conflict resolution, and he says he stresses to middle and high school students about risk and reward, asking if the enjoyment they get from exhibition driving is worth their life. He says young people will usually push back. It's their nature, but he says he allows them to ask him questions and always tries to explain why this isn't something they should participate in. You're trusting somebody you don't know to operate at a level that you don't know if they're capable of. And they might say, hey, that's not a big deal. Uh, why are you trying to stop this and that? And, you know, just kind of having those type of dialogues and building that type of relationship where, uh, you know, they can listen to me tell them things, but then they can also ask me questions about uh, why to get a better understanding of it. Now, local representatives and city council members are also backing a bill that's set to be introduced next month's legislative session. It would make illegal exhibition driving a felony. Catherine Steve. Excellent.